remember in seminary looking around at my class and seeing this incredible diversity sitting around me. One of my good friends from those days was from Nigeria. Some of my study partners were from South Korea. One of my brothers and friends in our local church was a solid believer from India. It was this beautiful picture of what God is doing in the world and an encouraging reminder of why we were there to begin with. Paul writes to the Colossian church that this gospel he preached, this gospel they believe, has been bearing fruit and increasing around the whole world. That God is taking this gospel, his gospel, the good news of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God, and this gospel is bearing fruit to the ends of the earth. I saw it in my church and I saw it in my classes. And we see it here at Apostles. Every Sunday morning, this gospel goes out to places you and I have never heard of, into the homes of people we've never met, and God is bearing fruit and increasing His kingdom. Now, do we have a role to play in that? And I absolutely believe we do. Paul writes these letters and regularly he mentions to the churches to whom he's writing that the believers in such and such a city are praying for them praying for their church and praying for their faith. Now Paul's intention in this is toward the encouragement of that church for sure, but it's also toward the understanding that any local church is also a member of the universal church. That these believers in Nigeria and South Korea and in India, even to the ends of the earth, are our brothers and sisters. One day we will be gathered together to spend eternity with followers of Christ from every tribe, every tongue, every nation, and even every century. So what now? At this moment, we have brothers and sisters facing persecution. We have missionaries around this world sharing the gospel because they believe what we believe, that this gospel is the power of God to salvation for anyone who believes. We have young believers who are hurting and have faced the loss of all earthly possessions, and they are fighting the fight of faith to believe that Jesus is actually worth it. What can we do? and we can lift them up to our Father and theirs. We can join them in praying that God would do His incredible work in and through them, that this gospel would continue to bear fruit and increase among them just like it's done among us. Let's join with these brothers and sisters in prayer now so that on the day we meet them in heaven, we can together see and savor the faithfulness of God in their lives and in ours. Devote yourselves to prayer, not only for your family, not even just for your church family, but for your brothers and sisters around this world. God is faithful. He will hear and He will act for His glory, for their good, and for all.